I just unboxed my new Remington indestructible, oh, virtually indestructible electric men's razor. It's a foil razor, as you can see right there. And it is model number PF7855. It just comes with a manual, charging cord, a brush, and this little, little uh, trimmer adjustment. You put it over the blades if you don't want to shave against the skin if you want just a scruffy look. Anyways, that's an attachment to, so you can uh, just trim your beard shorter, but not completely shaven if you want that kind of look. I am going to plug it in and let it charge. All you do is plug that cord into it and then plug it into the wall. I'll go through the manual and then do the live shaving next. Okay, I got my Remington razor all charged here. It's actually a wet, dry shaver. So I'm going to shave dry first, and then I'm going to jump in the shower just to make sure my... Uh, face gets uh, heated or whatnot before the actual shaving like you would in a real shower and then I'll come back out and do a wet shave which I'm not a fan of but I am a fan of the foil razors because they're flexible and uh, they just kind of have this spring and uh, you barely have to put any pressure um, all the directions say to shave in short circular strokes which is what I'm going to try to do but I do usually find myself just going real slow back and forth sometimes but uh I am becoming a, a big fan of these Remington shavers the more I try out uh shavers I did try out a Remington wet tech shaver that I really like but uh we'll see how it goes <clears throat> It does always say to try to pull your skin tight to try to make the hair stand up. I'm going to have to stop and say I'm pretty impressed with it so far. It is working really good in the uh, short circular strokes. Um, it's getting just about pretty much as close as a dry razor handle. Uh, um, I'm, like I said, I'm not a big fan of uh, wet shaving. I haven't been a fan of uh, electric razors either. because uh, I can't remember what those ones are called with the three circles. Those ones suck. I wouldn't buy one personally, but uh, I am... I am a fan of uh, foil electric shavers now, and like I said, these Remingtons do a really good job. I can already say this one's standing up to the test, so it's definitely worth buying. I can already tell you ahead of time. All you do to clean it is you pull this off, and then you can just dump the hair in the trash. There's hardly any in it right now, but I'm going to go ahead and finish up my dry shave. It's just really shaving really close even on my neck. I did want to say you are supposed to hold the skin tight and make sure you do get at least the circular motion you're going to go with and against the grain anyways, but sometimes you can just go completely against the grain in straight strokes. So.
just with that long really slow I just put a little bit of extra pressure and just went in a long slow straight line that works just as good as a circular stroke so I wouldn't get too carried away with that. Okay, where well, there, there you go, the dry shave is complete. You can definitely see a line down the middle of my face. Got pretty close shave, so. And I don't, I don't feel any uh, razor burn or anything yet. Uh, like I said, I'm a pretty good fan of these Remington razors now. I barely applied any pressure. And then, I do have a nose hair trimmer just to to get any stubborn hairs in around my nose there but uh my hair is as uh, rough as it gets it's hard to shave so i am going to be back after my shower to do the uh wet shave okay here i am I'm out of the shower ready for my uh wet shave um it did say you could use shaving gel or whatever in the shower and just rinse the razor off as you go it's supposed to be 100 percent waterproof so here we go
Okay, it's kind of hard to tell how close you're shaving with all that shaving gel. Rinse off and see what the verdict is. It's actually a little redder on my left side where I had the shaving gel on my neck. So I was trying to press down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Didn't do too bad actually though. It's almost as close, but I'm gonna have to touch it up a little bit, but. Okay, so this is my the side of my face that I wet shaved. I just wanted you to see how close it shaved. Um, I'm actually pretty impressed. I said before I wasn't a fan of the wet dry shavers, but uh, the foil ones are much better. I wouldn't even try to wet shave with the, the tri foil rotary razors, I think is what they're called. But you can see the part where I dry shaved. And, uh, they're both just about as close as a razor handle. I just don't, it just seems like more trouble to shave this way than with the uh, regular handle razor. I use the Gillette Fusion Pro Glide with the uh, AAA battery and the five blades, but uh, it's up to you, but this one's definitely a safe bet to buy. It's definitely one of the top two foil razors, electric wet dry foil razors I've tried so far, so there you go.